I just took my boots and socks off that I've been wearing for two days straight in Chernobyl and I stunk up the room so bad that I'm putting Germix on my feet. <laughs> Mostly for Nate. Not gonna lie, I didn't shower in Chernobyl because I was scared of the radiation in the water. It's a little bit better. <laughs> After spending two incredible and sobering days exploring and sleeping in the Chernobyl exclusion zone, wow. our guide drove us two hours back to Kiev to catch our overnight train to Lviv, Ukraine. Thank you. And safe flight. got dropped off at the train station and we leave in about an hour. Tonight we're going to be traveling about eight hours from Kiev to the city of Lviv in the west. We've purchased two first class tickets and so we should have our own room on the train but that's about all we know. I couldn't find any information about this train online. But we just drove from Chernobyl and it is 9 40 and we still haven't had dinner yet. So. We're having dinner at the local spot, Pizzata Hata. It's been our go-to this week since we've been in Ukraine. It's kind of like the Ukrainian McDonald's. All this was $7 and it's delicious. Okay, the train leaves in 15 minutes, but we should be fine. Except for we don't know what platform we're on. No. really quickly. Also the train looks like an old Soviet train that was painted in Ukrainian colors. Probably at some point during the decommunization period. It looks old. <laughs> that was so sweet. This is our room. Wow. Intimate. I love it. it looks like cheetah print. Okay. Oh. There's nowhere to slide the bags under the here. That seems that. dangerous. I don't think that's where we should. That seems bags. like it's gonna smash me in the face tonight. We just put it down and we just slide them under the table. Oh man, it's it's hot. you a quick room tour. They gave us each two little towels, I guess to go freshen up in the bathroom. We each have a top sheet, bubbly water on both of our pillows, two giant fluffy pillows. These are like really nice. I'm very impressed with these. And then our mattress is basically like a little sleeping pad on top of the normal train seat with a sheet on top topped with a handmade quilt by your great-grandmother. I think this is really cute. And a giant window that does not open. Hopefully, whatever we put up here doesn't fall on our head in the middle of the night. I was just cooling off and I just closed all the windows. Oh, maybe that means they're turning on the AC. Please. Oh my gosh, this feels cold. Okay, maybe a little air is coming out. Ow! I'm so excited. Okay, continuing on with the tour. If we get cold, which we might, because the AC is coming on, we have these giant duvets to put on top of our sheet. Blue and orange, not Ukrainian colors like I expected. And if you come inside, we have all these fun buttons up here. This, I think, is to control the volume of like the announcements, maybe? Then we have the only outlet in the entire room. I feel like this is a very weird spot for an outlet. These are the lights. Off, high. This, I think, locks the door. Maybe not. Oh, no. I don't think I'm going to press that again. I feel like it's a lock. I'm just so happy it's cooling off. This really isn't bad. Ew. It's not that bad. Are you serious? It's not that bad. That's like mold or poop. Oh my gosh, like, there's more. This could be your sheet, it's not that bad. We are switching bed. There you go. No matter what, you have to keep that sheet. Okay, deal. Gross, 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 gross. Do you want to trade towels? No, I already traded your sheets, what <laughs> more do you want from me? You think this is not that bad? 
No, that's like completely molded. Um, maybe it's clean, it's just stained. <laughs> give it a sniff. I, I'll take all of the stained <laughs> stuff. Me, give me a sniff. No, I'm not gonna say okay. It smells like old soap. So in the past, we've had a tough time booking tickets for these sleeper trains. Like in India, we literally had to get the guy who gave us our food tour to book the tickets for us and then send him money on PayPal later. Then for our Trans-Siberian train, I had to spend like an entire day trying to figure out how to like decipher the website from Russian to English and that was a mess. And then most recently trying to book our Georgian train, there was no booking that online. That required multiple trips to the train station, forgetting our passport, going back to our apartment, coming back to the train station, barely getting a ticket, changing our entire travel schedule to get on that train. And for this ticket, all I had to do was go online. It was just like booking a plane ticket. You choose the train you want, the time, it leaves you even choose your seat and it was like very obvious that we were going to be in the same compartment together the only thing left to the imagination was what it looked like i will say i did not expect the cheetah print just in case somebody's watching this video because they're thinking about riding on this train you should just know it's really easy you should do it bathroom tour time it smells like one of those dirty bathrooms that's been cleaned so it smells like dirty cleaning products that's my first impression. Toilet. No toilet paper. Oh, I found it. Toilet cover. Soap. Running water. Maybe. Can you get the water to turn on? Maybe I'll try the other bathroom? I feel like I can hear. So like on the scale from India to Switzerland, I give this like a six. It's not too bad, besides the water thing. How you doing? Sleepy. I need you to go figure out how to use the sink. <laughs> <laughs> just go see what Are you, you can touching figure me out. With your dirty hands? No, but just go let me know how it goes. Just figured she'd overlook something very obvious. Aha! Uh -huh. uh -huh. Why would you make a sink like that? I guess it conserves water, but I feel bad for the person that has to clean this bathroom. It is almost midnight. The train's getting very shaky, and we are about to call it a night. We have to get off this train at 6 in the morning, which means that there's a chance we won't even see light out of this window. So hopefully this is one of the least eventful overnight train rides that we've ever taken. When we first booked these, we were like, oh, this is such a good idea. We'll just go straight from Chernobyl to the train station, get right on the train, and go to Lviv. But I was ready for bed at 9 when we got here, and now we're going to bed at midnight, and we have to get up before 6 a.m. 100% worth it to not have to pack and unpack our bags again. Good night. We're about to sleep for five hours. Guy came and banged on our door at like 5.25. We're supposed to be there at 6. Slept pretty well. Still very tired. so fast when I got knocked on the door. I was sleeping in my underwear and I thought he wanted me to open it. <laughs> so I just woke up in a panic. But now my adrenaline's wearing off. I'm tired again. We're here. Very early. No. <laughs> We're not here. Oh. Next station. <laughs> We're making a ruckus with all our stuff. He came out to us. We're not here. It's the next station. A few other tourists stuck their head out the door and they were like, Are we here? And we were like, I don't know. <laughs> and the guy was like, <laughs> Let's try this again. Oh, we made it. The only problem now is it's six in the morning and we can't check into our Airbnb for another six and a half hours. 
And we don't really have a plan at this point. What are we gonna do? <laughs> How cute. He's like real tall for the inside. Okay, we found two coffee shops that are open. One is within walking distance, but the reviews say that it serves tasteless brown water. Another one's three kilometers away. Bye, thank you. I think it's open. Oh, this looks great. I love it. the largest and this is home for the next six hours. I'm not sad that they're blaring Usher right now but I am nervous that we're gonna get demonetized. Coffee is good, the Wi-Fi is fast, and considering our circumstances, oh, I could not be any happier. <laughs> I don't know why I'm having such a hard time waking up this morning. I can think of a few reasons why. <laughs> Five hours and several cups of coffee later, it is finally time to check into our Airbnb. Just one more river. Bye, thank you. This place was awesome. Lifesaver. 100% taking a nap as soon as we get to the apartment. Glad we're on the same page there. Thank you very much. Bye. 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 And this is what about $50 a night will get you in Lviv. We have this huge, beautiful living room, great workspace. We've been told fast Wi-Fi, no AC, that's the only drawback. But it feels fine. And this is just the first floor. I love it. We have an entire upstairs. This room, washer, shower, toilet, and the bed. And there's also an erotic magazine. Is it really? I'm, I'm just kidding. It's just a normal magazine. But this is all of the same letters that are in erotic. <laughs> and for some reason, that's what my brain read. It's so hard to burn on you with this hand and not think the camera was that hand. <laughs> uh... We still haven't found the AC, but they have these windows cracked out here. So unfortunately, I think that might be the AC. Oh, it feels so nice out there. The room is so hot. Like just going from the room to the hall makes the biggest difference. We have to sleep with the door open. I think that's becoming more and more, I can't even talk, it's too late. We've been talking to the camera for like 48 hours straight. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>